let's go. All right. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. there. Hey! Any questions? Well then. Actually...
Take your time.
Look around. Bull, 
That's a new high score! The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Zero points right on the dot! Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Oh, uh, oh! Let's invite everybody next time! Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know... One of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm. This game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget. We got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Hey.
Just add this.
Okay.
What do you want to do? Yeah. Make sure you close up. Let me explain.
For real? How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand not unnecessary questions. <laughs> Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, how could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just wanna ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens.
Hey, are you listening? Attention! pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Of course. This isn't something any ordinary cat would do. And just in case you've forgotten again, I'm a human, not a cat. Well, see you around. Actually, I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Oh, the preliminary competition for gymnastics. Two huge competitions are coming up, one at the beginning of summer and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative, and there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. It's nothing extraordinary, but it's for my dream. So I'm willing to put in every bit of effort that I have. Oh, we're already at the station. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Seems pretty rough. Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome. Train doors are now closing. Please stand back.
Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome. Train doors are now closing. Please stand back. Write something. Hey, we're all here. Hey. Okay. Very well. Listen up. Come on. What's this? It sounds like we can go further down now. It's because we made Matarame's palace disappear, right? Most likely. I think. 
You seem rather uncertain. How far does this mementos run, anyway? Ah, uh, It's huge! Extremely! You're always so vague when it comes to the important stuff. It's like he's kind of flaky as our chief of operations. Don't you want him to try a bit harder, too? You truly are different from that moron over there. There, there. I don't fully understand, but mementos and the palaces are related to each other, correct? Then all we must do is continue changing the hearts of evildoers to ascertain its full expanse. I don't believe there's a need to quarrel over it. with me are you finished what do you need something now No slacking off. that myself. Look 
point. This is my other self. Take this! Surprisingly tough. Persona! Not bad. Persona. Shisa! Go down! They're all knocked down! That Just was stay incredible, there. Joker!
I knew I was wrong. There's no other way. Sorry. I'm so embarrassed. That's true. I get a word in. Now then. Wait. Just fun. All right, the use electric moves. Those are its weakness. I shall put you to the sword. Persona. Let's go, Captain. Defeated. Go, give him Persona. You did it, Skull. Persona! Captain Kid! You did it, Skull! Serves you right! Okay, guys. Right to That's all she wrote! Okay. Man, that was easy.
intel is the most important. Keep your eyes peeled during the day. I've been doing that. But now people are saying I look like even more of an asshole than before. So fire is its weak point. I shall put you in the hole. Keep it going, Fox. You want me to change mementos? Sure. Here we go. Just watch. I've learned all about this. You see, the cognition flowing through mementos. It's got these things that are similar to what you humans call pressure points. So, if I do this... Ha! <laughs> it for you. 
Don't believe me? Just take a look for yourself. Noticed us? That one is no. It's weak against gunfire. Bring out the artillery. It's weak against gunfire. Bring out. Use electric moves. Those are its weakness. Sudden movement. That won't work right now. <laughs> okay, guys. Great. All right. Ha! Piece of cake. from here. Scary. I should 
have known. What was I doing? Yeah, 
treasure chest. This is what the fever is of. Oh! Move a muscle. Yeah, fine. It looks scared. Use the soothing words.
I appreciate it. <laughs> I am thou. Take this! <laughs> Come! Ravage them! aren't getting through. Do it! Finish up! Persona! Change your mind?
The others kind of overshadow you sometimes, but don't forget, you're famous too. Just make sure you're careful, okay? Make sure you close up. Let me explain. I'm hot. this a request to the student body it says they're looking for information i heard principal kobayakawa put it up please consult the student council president if you have any details so we can go to her for anything why the student council president though what does she have to do with principal kobayakawa i mean nijima san is his favorite maybe that's why he asked her to do it Tragic.
give it a try. This is it. <laughs> That's it. President, what is the meaning of that posting? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police, what should I do? Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us, too. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Well, no. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please wait on this for the time being. If you say so. My apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. Thank you. 
There's no one here. Please head to the exam room. I guess.
back. Come on. think. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you think? See you around. What do you think about that? I was wondering about that.
How about you? This is it. Exactly. Well said. Nice going! So... Sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san? Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst! So that's what he's using Nijibis-senpai for? <sighs> Oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it too. Nijima Senpai knew? <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shujin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Uh. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd. So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint.